Playing with puppies can be so much fun, but with a little thought, it can actually be a very valuable training experience. If you want your puppy to grow up to be a confident adult dog that's happy to be handled by the vet or the groomer, then it's very important to handle them regularly when they're young pups, to get them used to every part of their body being touched, so that they're happy when it comes to clipping their claws, or brushing their teeth, or just general day-to-day -day grooming. As long as the adult dog allows it, pups can be handled from a very young age. So when you go to choose your puppy from a breeder, ask the breeder whether the pups have been handled. Have they met adults, both men and women, and also children? Try picking the pup up yourself. Is it happy to be handled? Um, does it struggle to try and get free, or is it happy with you touching uh, any part of its body? Some people advise what's called an alpha role with puppies, um, to show them that you're stronger than them and that you're dominant over them. Um, but actually all this does is scare the puppy and is more likely to grow up, for them to grow up as a fearful adult. It's much better to teach them that handling isn't a scary process and just gradually get them used to being handled all over. It's amazingly common how often children in the park will rush up to say hello to a dog and will immediately come up to give it a hug. This can be quite daunting for a dog, especially a puppy. And so it's important to teach dogs that actually a hug isn't a threatening thing and it's a pleasant experience. Start off with your dog on your lap or just nearby and gently give it a quick hug and release it. Good girl. So that they get used to enjoying being hugged. You can gradually work up so that they're hugged for longer and longer and brought into you tighter so that they learn to enjoy it. The aim with hugging your dog isn't to dominate the dog in any way, it's just to get them used to the fact that sometimes this is what people do and this is what us people like doing to them, especially very cute puppies. And just to get them used to it so that if someone else in the park does come up and do that to your puppy, uh, that the puppy isn't going to be scared. It's great fun playing with puppies, but it is important that you alternate play sessions with calm sessions. If your puppy's getting overexcited, gently but securely get hold of them, um, just so that they can't carry on nipping or can't carry on getting overexcited. Gently rub their ears or slowly rub the stroke of their back, just so that they calm down um, and keep hold of them until they do settle. And it may take a few minutes, but eventually they will settle, at which point you can gently praise them and let them go play again. Many adult dogs have an area that they don't like being touched. Maybe it's their ears or their paws or their tail. It's important that we handle our puppies as much as possible so that they don't develop these dislikes. Imagine that you're a vet and imagine that you're giving your dog a check over. Have a look in their eyes. Good girl. Have a look in the ears. Have a look right down, right deep inside the ear canal. One of the first signs of the ear problems is actually a slight smell to the ear. So if you get used to what your puppy's ears smell like, then you'll be able to tell any problems before they occur. Have a look at their nose. The dog's nose should be slightly damp, but don't worry if they're a little bit dry. It depends how recently they've had a drink or how regularly they lick the nose. Also check the teeth. Gradually lift up the lip, just so you can have a look and make sure you praise them. If they're not keen on any part of the examination, then you can use treats or tit bits to make it a more pleasant experience. So I'm just gonna have a look at their teeth. Good girl and I'll give her a treat as a reward. Very good, yeah. Check all over their body with your hand for any lumps or bumps, ticks and fleas, um, or anything that they might, anywhere that they might have cut themselves while out on a walk. Check at their feet, investigate the, their claws, and in between the pads. Um, dogs quite often get grass seeds caught within the pads of their feet. So in between all the toes, have a check inside, and really get them used to being handled all over. Good, yeah. Check underneath them. Yeah. Pick their tummy, round by the back feet, and round by their tail. Again, stroke the tail nice and gently. Don't pull the tail, don't make it an unpleasant experience, but just get them used to being handled all over.